Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today we are going to analyze Kai Havertz. So to start off, let's talk about his positioning. He can basically play in all the attacking positions. He favors the right side of the pitch, as he is left footed. But you can always see him roaming around and getting closer to the ball wherever it is. Now let's talk about his off the ball movement. This is very important as it gives his teammates a lot of passing options and makes it harder to mark him. His perfect reading of the game allows him to notice the defensive errors as you can see here and then takes the advantage from these mistakes. He has a great vision and a great ability to deliver to his teammates. As you just saw, those quick turns or change of directions to get rid of the pressure and set the long pass. As we explained in the positioning section, he tries to get as close as he can to the ball, wherever it is, and gets involved as much as he can. An interesting stat here says that the total XG of every position he gets involved in per 90 minutes is 0.87. Havertz got a total of 49 shots this season. Now let's break these down. 12 shots were from outside the box, 6 misses, 3 were blocked and the other 3 were saved. So no goals from outside the area for him. Inside the 6 yard box, and without a doubt he is very dangerous, out of 3 shots, 2 goals and 1 hit the woodwork. Out of his 11 goals this season, 5 were with his preferred foot, 3 with his right and 3 with his head. You can see how he is very comfortable during different situations. He is the type of player that likes to keep the ball with him and be responsible to distribute it around. Obviously, by taking his full time on the ball, he grabs more attention. I just wanted to say that he attempted a total of 19 switches this season, compared to his 44 of last season. Maybe the coach asked him to keep the ball on the ground, but this stat shows a variety in his playstyle. As a playmaker, his defensive contribution is alright, he applies a lot of pressure and tracks his opposition's back. He got an average of 12.5 presses per game and succeeded in 31% of the time, which is pretty good for a playmaker. On the other hand, he doesn't seem to intercept too many passes with an average of 0.1 interceptions only per game. He got a very important role when defending corners. He is always the first man to clear any crosses at the near post. He is 6 foot tall, he won 43% of his area duels this season. Playing these kind of passes after pulling all the defenders away from his teammates is what makes the difference. You can see here how he gave the impression that he was going to shoot to pull the defenders towards him even more and then pass to the open teammate. His key passes per game was actually doubled this season with 2.2 compared to 1.1 in the 18-19 season. This may explain why his goals decreased this season with 11 only compared to 17. This is actually very important, always continuing the run towards the goal, asking for passes using the blind side advantage or waiting for the unexpected to happen. Also, he always seemed to move forward after playing a pass to a side. He tries to get the ball between the midfield and defensive lines, which is the most dangerous area for you as a playmaker. Whenever he cannot get the ball inside that area, he drops down to get it in by himself. 
He has already been a captain for his side. He communicates a lot, either guiding his teammates or asking for passes. He gained control on the ball for over 1,300 times this season, and the ball was intercepted 75 times only from him. He also completed 55 dribbles with a 50% success rate. Last season, he scored 3 out of 3, just like this season, so 6 out of 6 in total, with a 100% conversion rate. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video, what do you like the most about his playstyle? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.